redstones, diamonds, gold, emeralds, iron, and more coal than you can shake a stick at or a pickaxe. But you can get all of this right now, and Flocka001 is going to show you how right here on Family Time Gaming Network. Stick with us. <laughs> So, we're back here on Family Time Gaming Network with Flocka001, and she's playing Minecraft. She's got something awesome to show you. So, what did you find earlier? All right. So, I found a lot of diamonds. I've been trying to find them. I'm trying to find diamonds and emeralds to trade with people to get stuff. And reds I found redstone before, but not the diamonds or emeralds. So, we went mining and figured out how to find them, and I'll show you that right now. But first, now this you can do anywhere, anywhere you are in whatever biome you are. Um, we'll show you what you have to go with. So let me drop what I don't need. Okay. Make sure you take food because you're going way, 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 way down. <laughs> you will need food. Um, plenty of sticks and coal for, for torches and already have some torches made too. And make sure you take water because we'll be going deep enough to where we might hit some lava and we'll need water to get through that area. Also, crafty table in case you want to craft stuff down there that you need. I took some iron because I didn't know how long my supplies would last. So I wanted to make some pickaxes in case I ran out. I wasn't sure how many I would need. I found out I would need three diamonds. That's sufficient. But if you guys don't have any diamonds yet, take supplies i don't know how many it would take with iron or gold um well the iron and gold iron gold and diamonds are the only ones that can actually get diamonds. yeah so you have to use an iron or a diamond um pickaxe to get any of those gems down there she's become so. a master at this game like they, they play it she and unicorn magic play it together continuously me i just watch I kind of know a lot about it, but yeah, they're the ones who play it all the time. Unicorn Magic is an expert. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a noob, but I, I catch up pretty quick. So, also take shovels. You'll find dirt down there, and shovels work better for that. So I got two shovels. All I needed was one, um, but take two. I don't know how. It depends on how much work you guys are going down there. I'm taking a sign because I got lost on the way out finding an exit, so... You're I'm, going pretty deep. I'm putting there just so I know where the exit is. It, You'll see why. Like, you, you, you get it switched up and you don't know where north is, so... Now, you have to find them in specific areas. They're very prominent, so gold, what is it, gold, diamond, and mm -hmm. emerald will and show up more commonly in certain layers right. of the earth. And the other big one, and this is the one she's still kind of looking for, is called Lapis Lazuli. Lapis is stone in Latin, and Lazuli, it's a couple of different words, but if you take it in Latin again, Lazul, which means the blue, so it would be the blue stone. That stone right there, that's the one that helps you make uh, the enchantments Enchant and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I mean, I haven't found that yet, so I'm still looking for that. I came across this place yesterday, um, traveling the entire map. All right. So, are we going to go down and we, show them how to do it? Yes. All right. So. Now, first, there's something called the XY axis in this game. On the PC, if you play it on PC, it's known and you can see it on your screen and everything else. But when you're playing on Xbox or PS4, Xbox One or PS4, even 360 version and PS3, there's a little trick to it because it was kind of a glitch. They kind of messed up when they created it, so you had to turn on the cheats menu. But now, since they've updated the game, that cheats menu is already open. Do you want to show them how to pull up their XY? Yes, yeah, so this is, if you're playing on Xbox, um, you go to settings, game, it's already on game, so you'll go over to the right side and scroll down to all the settings. You'll see friendly fire, show coordinates, fire spreads, TNT explode. You can turn these on and off. Most of them are on, 
which we just figured out. I keep hitting Unicorn Magic, and she keeps hitting me, and so I turn it off finally. But that's survival. Hey, I personally yeah. think that's the way it should be. But, <laughs> In survival? Hey, you know. No, yeah. not when you don't mean to do that. Yeah. And so show coordinates. That's the one you want to turn on, so we'll turn that on. It's normally off. And then you want to make sure that this one is on. Activate yep. cheats. Now, Otherwise, that won't work. Because of the update, that should automatically mm -hmm. be on. Because yeah. technically, this isn't a cheat. It's actually supposed to be a part of the game. But they actually they had uh, you know an issue when they first did it, and it was a glitch. But if it's not on, turn it on and yeah. turn on your show coordinates. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I go back, and you see on the top left, I have my position. So as I move, you'll see certain numbers. So that's an Move. X, Y, Z axis, yes. all right? So X is your, uh, I believe that's your left, right? Huh? Well, X is a, yeah. Right, left, left, right. <clears throat> y, Y shows your up, down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Z is your north, south. That's yeah. typically how it is. It could be slightly different, but just know that the first one, left and right, 241, 75 is the level that you're standing on. So if you watch her go down this, uh, the stairs that she created, oh. look at that. It goes down 74, oh. 73, so on. All and right. so what we're trying to do is go to where you will find these precious stones. And the, the most prominent level that they're on is level 12. Yes, so you can find them from level 1 to level 16. We'll show you what level one looks like and what <laughs> oh, yeah. 12 is the best one and that's what we're working on you're not going to make it to level one let's just say that so i've done this a couple of different ways using just ladder drop down and stairs depending on what you have available if you run out of ladders you can always do the stairs and if so you notice down. she already set up a ton of um not lanterns, but uh, the torches. Like, As torches. you go down, make sure you don't forget to put your torches up and your ladders up uh, down. As soon as it starts getting dark, and you'll set the path. <clears throat> I didn't waste time doing this, so don't make it so big. Just as, not enough for you to be able to go down the stairs. That's all you need. So why don't we show them the one that you found, and then find another section and show them how to uh, how to do it, so okay. they know it's not just a fluke. <clears throat> all right. So, so there we go. This is level twelve, as you can see. It says twelve, and it would be twelve and thirteen since we are doing by twos, or yeah, two or three. So twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Yep. Yeah. And you can see everything we have found, <clears throat> and I'll show you why it looks this way and how we got around it instead of digging everywhere. So that is a ton. Stuff over here. One of the most traded things Iron in this game is, is coal. coal. And look at how much of it you Yes, found on this I was line. having issues finding <laughs> coal. You'll find bits and pieces here and there, but this is jackpot right here. Because yeah. that's usually what makes your uh, your traders in the towns, the villages, <clears throat> the traders, that's what they like trading for. And you can get the levels up so they can make you better look weapons, at food, all this stuff coal. like that. Yep. That's a ton of coal. Yeah, the more you trade with them, the, the better weapons they make, the better things they have to trade with. They go up in level, so you always want to make sure you trade with them and you take care of them and feed them too. See, oh, that's more. I didn't dig that out, and I still wow. have that. I hadn't seen that. So, so now she's got to go and find an untouched patch that uh, she hasn't <clears throat> gone through yet. But essentially, she's going to stay on level 12. Now, like she said, you're going to run into a lot of stuff. If you didn't see it behind her, there was water that was already there as far as a waterfall. Oh, the exit sign? Yes. <laughs> so, there was water there. She ran into a lot of lava, and that's why one of the things that she uh, brought with her is a couple of buckets of water. Oh, what am I doing? Even if you bring empty buckets and you run into water down here, of course, you can go ahead and collect the water and drop it down on the lava. So that way, you know, you won't, you can get across those uh, lava see, areas. See, now I can see where the sign is and I won't be lost. Awesome. Okay. So, what we did when we first came in, just a... Oh, yeah. Only two. So, no wider than two. Keep digging in. So, we dug in. Oh, wait, I'm hungry, guys. 
I can't stand walking slow, so I run and I waste a lot of food. Jennifer eats a ton. She eats runs a lot. I do. <laughs> so we'll keep going down, 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 down. A good amount. A, it has to be a good amount. So what did we do here? We did three. So we're yep. at three eighty. This patch here alone is three eighty to four ten. So you can see about what thirty or so. Yeah. Well, no, you drop, you drop down to 380, 380 so the distance... Yeah, it's... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's about 30, no. 30 blocks. So you, we were looking at our north-south, which is the very last one I call the Z-axis. Yeah. So a big, big, big size. And then you want to go this way a good amount as well. We only went as far as we could, as you can see, and we'll have to... Probably to stay on do the it 12th. here. Yeah, yep. To stay on so. twelve. Now the thing about this is you can mine the entire map from underground mm -hmm. exactly like this Just as long as you stay on one. the twelfth the twelfth level. <clears throat> That's it. So let's see how how long it takes for her to find anything going this route. Where we go to three hundred, right? Uh yeah, yeah, I think it was three hundred. One of the things you're gonna run into a lot down here, which she ran into and it freaked her out the first time, <laughs> they're like these little uh, cave rats or something like that. They just pop up as you bust the bricks or the, <clears throat> your, uh, your stones, they'll just pop out and come and rush after you. They're really small, and so you have to be careful because they go straight to the ground, and you think something tall or big is attacking you, but you never look down, and they're just continuously mm -hmm. going after you. They sound like matches yeah. when they when they're somewhere first coming out. It's like a match. So there, right now, starting to find coal. Yep. So we found coal there. I don't want to break through it just yet. You're gonna do this continuously all the way to the end to 380, which we're almost there. And then what you would do once you have that square. You would be at the end and continue on this way as well. So you'll hit a huge, like a hallway, a square rectangle hallway yep. all the way through. In this case, it should work. The only way that it doesn't is if it runs into, uh, if that water waterfall is bigger than what we actually thought it was. You just yeah. hit, what was it? Oh, okay, it looks like coal was there again. But if you notice, she's going two by as far as like the <coughs> actual size mm -hmm. here. And there's a reason why. Yeah. It's it's a quicker way to do it. Plus, if you hit something in the middle of this, then you know there's going to be something around it. And you're going to get a ton of cobblestone. It's going to try and fill up your, um, your inventory as you're going through so you'll have to get rid of some stuff in order to pick up other stuff yep and i show you how to get rid of stuff easier or how to make it so that um it's not filling up with useless things oh there we go there we go there's some gold there a nice nice little uh patch of gold and there's still a good amount of this whole square to actually get through before uh leaving out So once we go all the way down, what did I hit, granite? Let me see if I make it. <laughs> what number was it? Did you oh my goodness, I don't even remember. I think you actually went beyond it. Probably. Okay. So you're going to do that. Once you have a whole square hallway, you basically have a huge block in the middle that you have to work through. And what we're going to do is we're going to count by twos. So, as you can see, this is two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then the next one, you're going to work, make hallways that you're going to work in. One, two, wait, one, yep. two, three. So, pretty much, she's take two by two, like, you know, work into, skip two. 
this works out so much easier for you because again as you're going through once you see something on any side of you you know that more than likely there's something next to you again so you're just going to work all the way through plant yes you will find plant a lot behind the gravel so if you need it now you know all right so we have one two one, two, one, two. Oh, oh, there we go. There's that. Now, we say level 12 because, again, it is the biggest deposit spawning area in the game in general. And the thing about it is that the farther down you go, the more issue you're going to run into because at some point you're going to start hitting bedrock and bedrock is pretty much impossible to get through with the tool you actually have to have a special way to get through bedrock which is something that we're more than likely to cover on another video so there's iron now and there's more now remember, she skipped two slots from the last time where she was actually digging, and yet she runs into more yes. iron. <clears throat> so you can and see more we red. see what's here, we see what's on this wall, and you can see what's on this wall by going by twos. So you miss you don't miss anything. So I'll tell you right now, that means that if you're starting new at this game, you're gonna wanna get as much what silver is possible iron or iron iron yeah. is possible in order to make the right tools to get down here and actually get through this mm-hmm not of iron so we'd start with stone tools don't use the wood tools they don't last start with the stone tools find some a lot of iron and get down here and you already see that she's got <laughs> she's got more coal on the side here. a lot of coal and that's the awesome thing because one of the uh, best things about this is getting this much coal, even if it's only coal you can find it first down here. You go and you trade with uh, the townspeople and get better other tools, mm -hmm. including your swords and shovels and pickaxes. And some of them you'll even get enchanted ones. Yep, I have traded already uh, with my villager to get an enchanted sword. I have three now. Oh, perfect. Again. All right. So yep. now we just work all the way through the entire entirety of this. And once you get through, finish all the way. Let's do one. Okay. We'll do this one. Mm, yeah, man. It's well starting this one. Just you see. can dig stuff out. Yeah. Remember to use your shovel for it. Right now, it's only been about what 17 18 minutes now not since we've been bad. in the video, and that's not a bad amount of stuff to find right there. The bigger thing is what she's going to end up finding <coughs> going through all of this is going to be diamonds. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have to go ahead and chop through, coal's blocking the way. Okay, fine. All right. <sighs> Uh, yeah. I guess it can wait. Separate your 54. The stuff below you, don't worry about that until you actually get mm -hmm. through your entire square here. Then you dig another level, yeah. replace yourself to get back up to level 12, and then keep moving through. And if you're doing that, you have to be very careful. You might dig into some lava underneath because you're very close to caves and, and oh, the lava. Okay. So it's not very deep. This one wasn't as deep as the other one. As far yeah, as it wasn't because of the waterfall. Right. So you can see how much more we worked on the other one. Um, but once you finish all the rows, basically you just dig it out. Oops. And there's more. Yep. Wow. And more. <laughs> so, the other
other side isn't done, but I would already be on the other side here. Let's see if I can get Let's to it. Let's see what we can find in the next weeks. Ah! More coal. Yep. There we go. I have a feeling we're going to be uh, doing a whole lot of this, especially until we find... Oh, oh emeralds. emeralds. Yep. Until we find that blue stone. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. The entire world we're going to mine. <laughs> Why is it not... That one, uh -oh. yeah. Yep, there it is. There look, it look, is. look at that, look at that. Ah! <laughs> and they oh, all come out. Oh, they're up. Kill, kill, kill. Kill it. Die. Okay. There was a bunch of them. Yeah. Like, you took out the one, they all went yeah. ahead and popped Yeah, so out. if you notice the ones that take longer than usual to break, something's in it. Yep. Look at all that coal. Okay, hey, trying to see if we can make it to a spot to where you can find some diamond. Okay. Mine through. All right, we'll work through then. Oops. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. And you know what? It's been great because we're getting a lot more subscribers right now. I think we just hit 30, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Hopefully, uh, you know what, you'll invite more people to come take a look. And if you're just watching for the first time, check out our other videos. Hopefully, you'll subscribe too. Like, give us a comment. Let us know what games you want to see us play. Or what you want to see us do in yes. the games. Especially in Let stuff like Minecraft and Lumber Tycoon too. Hmm. This one, not see much of anything. No. Nothing. How Nothing. Sad. Okay. Do we have another row? Yeah, you have a couple more rows. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so oh. more than likely there's not going to be anything on the right side. And that's why doing it two by two is really a good idea. Oh, there we go. More red. Red stone. Like, maybe you found a deposit of diamonds all on the other side. I hope so. That would be hella cool. Well, no, I mean, if uh, all the ones that you already found, that was it for this side. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more. Really? I have to break through it? Nah. Just go ahead, because I think that's leading to the back, to the end of, uh, of, of that, that row. row. Anyway. Yep. That was... Hold on, guys. I don't like that. <laughs> <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm nearing the end of my first pickaxe. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, crap. That one was too hard to break. Oh, crap. There's another one somewhere. Swash is lucky she actually had. Holy moly. Is there another one? Sometimes they, they still cry even after death. Now, I don't know if any of you guys know what they are, um, let us know. I don't know the specific name for them, and I can't collect anything for them except, apparently, gunpowder for... No, no, never mind. I already had that. Moles? I so, know. I don't know. I can't collect anything from them moly, when moly, I kill moly, them. Moly, moly, moly. Oh, That's no. That's another one. Yep. Oh, no. This is only one. Coming out more and more now. Yep, it must be close to something. Yeah, That's maybe lava or water. More red. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> yeah. 
this is the biggest thing. Even if she doesn't find diamonds and gold right now, you guys saw it in the other area that she's actually working in. So you know that it actually does work. Yeah. And the fact is, the redstone is another one that's pretty hard to find. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're always going to find a ton of that down yeah. there, too. Redstone, you can make machines, start up red and gold, basically. And we found a lot of that. So yep. get your machines, your rails. Oh, there it is. <gasps> oh, my we goodness. We found it. Found it. Oh, right no there. way. Good. There, and it's there two you slots go. so far. Need that right there. Sweet. So there you go, guys. You can find stuff down here Lapis lazuli. Yep. but like i was saying make your machines with that stuff Emeralds. and be able to get down here easier um, go. i'm gonna try and see if, if i can show oh, you guys diamond. yep if i can show you guys how to make um or when we make a rail system there it is everything all in this one section yeah. right here mm -hmm. she's got diamonds down here Emeralds, up there Lapis lazuli coal red and iron and iron everything everything all in this row here which means more than likely there's probably a little bit more <coughs> da uh farther back the up there we go starting mm -hmm. again wow <laughs> that's a good idea here Well, hey, well, that worked out just in time because you know what? It's about time for us to go ahead and end this video. But, hey, hopefully you guys like what you're seeing here. <laughs> let us know what you thought. Thank, thank Ms. And if you try it, let one. us know how it goes. Yeah, she spent some time actually testing this out, and it worked out really well. Woo! So hopefully you guys will like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, mm -hmm. too. Thanks a lot for being fans. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great 4th of July. Have a great, have a great weekend. Every day. Happy 4th.